All right, guys, welcome back. It's Free Tip Friday. Um, the tip for this week is how to put a winch on your Alaskan melt tip, something or other. So it's kind of like how to, tip, whatever. Just, just watch the stinking video, okay? So all you need for this um, is your Alaskan mill. This is my Alaskan mill set up here. Um, I'm gonna have a double power head bar running through here and a couple of dudes on Facebook and a few guys in the comments section in my last video where I showed my chainsaw setup said, you gotta set it up with a winch. And I was like, what? And they showed me a picture and then I went on YouTube and there's a bunch of guys that have done videos of setting up their Alaskan mills with a winch and I was like, that, that looks awesome because trust me, Alaskan milling is absolutely exhausting. It's just, it's like pushing a car down the road. It's just so slow and you just have to keep that constant pressure on the, on this rig to keep it moving through the wood. And by, after three or four slabs, like you're absolutely exhausted. And the trees that I'm going to be milling up are humongoids. So I figured the winch is the best way to go. So what I've done is I've gone to, I went and got this at Princess Auto, which is just like a kind of surplus do-it-yourself store here in Canada. Um, so it's just an 800 pound winch, which is the smallest one I could find. Um, so I'm going to mount that to the front rail right here. And then all, everything else you need is I just got a 50 foot length, a quarter inch nylon rope. Uh, I got one of these little loop uh, wall anchor thingamadoogies. Um, I'm going to grind off the majority of these little bolt mounting holes so that this little, this little piece here will slide in that rail. So I'll have an anchor an anchor loop mounted on that front rail. So the winch is going to mount here. The rope is going to go around the winch, run to a pulley. The pulley, which will be mounted to like a truck bumper in front of the log, hopefully. Um, then the rope will come back and anchor to this loop with this little beaner majigger. So it's a very simple setup. You need a winch, a beaner, a pulley, a rope, and a little anchor loop. So I think that was like 50, 60 bucks in materials, maybe. All right, so the first step is getting this winch mounted onto uh, your rail here. So I think I'm going to move this handle over a little bit just to keep the winch away. So I'm not cracking my knuckles right there, but the system of doing this, a few other guys have showed this on YouTube, is to just undo this pin here that holds your winch. Um, and depending on the size of the winch, sometimes the bolt will actually be the right size to slide in there. In this case, it's not quite big enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the grinder and I'm just going to grind down the head a little bit and the sides of the shaft so that it fits tightly in there and that will actually prevent the bolt head from turning because it will be kind of grooved on either side, just on the two sides. And that will lock the bolt in there straight. And then I just drop the winch back down on top. See that I have uh, ground a little channel on each side there. Just ground it out with my angle grinder so that it slides into this track down here. Slides right in here like that now. And because of the channels, it can't twist around in that track. So I've loosened off all these nuts. Slide in there. And then the bump out from the nut on the other side for this bar prevents it from uh, spinning around. Once there's tension on that, it'll just pull itself tight to the bar. All right, so now I've got my little loop handle here. I'm going to hammer this together a little tighter there. And I'm going to cut these off and just leave a short little part of the flange to slide in that track.
All right, guys, so we got the whole system rigged up here with the winch. Got it anchored to my bumper of my van over there. This is the only chunk of wood I have at my property here. So we're just going to do a test with this little tree cookie here, slab it in half using the winch, see how it works. So let's start it up, Justin. <laughs> Cadet. Huh? I got my chain on backwards. <laughs> I was like, that's why it's not cutting. Chain's on backwards. Oh man, samurai fail. <laughs> Pull it. It's sparking. I was like, man, I've never seen a brand new chain be so dull when it hits the wood. So, it helps to put your power heads on in the right orientation. Durr. Now that I believe we have the chain on there the correct way, let's give it another go. Get your started up. I shouldn't need to choke it. Just put it down to the start position and give it a pull. pretty good for a ripping chain going cross cut cut through that thing like butter that winch you that winch worked beautifully too I can't wait to slide these logs Woo! just made a couple hundred bucks one top becomes two tabletops booyah so there you have it guys it's a pretty simple concept chainsaw mill pulley equals awesome stay tuned for more awesome slabbing videos that was your free tip Friday. Till next week, Samurai out.